Hi there, my name is Jessica Drossen and I create actions, textures, and overlays for photographers. Today I'm going to show you how I edited this photo of a bride using the beautiful world actions, textures, and overlays. Just to give you a preview, here's my final image and here's the before. And now I'm going to show you the steps that I took to get there. First I'm going to start with doing some basic retouching. I'm going to go to Subtle Skin Soften and push play. And now I'm making sure that I have white selected and an appropriately sized brush. I'm just going to boost that opacity up a little bit since we're demonstrating this. Now I'm going to paint over any of the areas in her skin that I want to see softening. I'm not a big believer in trying to turn the skin of, of a subject into plastic. I just want to retouch them back to the point that when you're having a conversation with them, when you're seeing them in real life, how they look. Once a photo's been taken and the subject's no longer animated, you tend to be able to notice every little flaw and imperfection in their skin. You don't notice it like that when they're talking to you. So my goal is to keep it very natural, but yet be flattering in most cases where I'm doing portraiture. All right, I'm gonna call that finished and I'm gonna add a little bit of a sharpening. Now, I think I'm going to go into the tints. There is a tint from Earthy that I think will look nice for this. It's not for every photo. Well, no tints really for every photo. But in this case, I'm going to use gravity. It works really well when you have a contrasty image that you want to add a little warmth to. There we go. And I like it at its default opacity. I'm just going to leave it there. And then I'm going to go to the bonus actions that come with the tint set. And I'm going to select Tint Contrast. And now I think for the saturation, I'm going to go into Foundations and pick Portrait Saturation. There we go. If at any point I thought that something was too heavy, I could simply go here and adjust the opacity. Or I could go into the mask itself and paint out areas that I didn't like using a black color with the brush. That would do the opposite effect of what we did with Subtle Skin Soften, where we painted with white to show the effect. We would be painting with black to hide the effect. All right, I think I'm pretty happy with the way these colors are looking, and I'm happy with the detail and the depth. So the next thing I'm going to do is pull up an overlay from the collection. So go to the Overlays folder. I've included just a few overlays here. If you'd like more, I have many more in the Light Effects Pack from Force of Nature. Now, you see that this overlay is completely black. What you're going to do is you're going to simply place it on your image. And right now it's in normal mode. You're going to change that normal mode to screen mode. And then everything that was black is going to disappear. And you can just position it however you want to. I'm going to actually Rotate it a little bit. There we go. There we go. And then when I'm happy, I just click the little check button. All right, I think also I'm going to add a texture to this. So I'll go to the textures folder. I'm going to pick ghost. Put it right on top of your image. You might notice if you've used textures of mine before that these textures are significantly larger. With full frame cameras becoming larger and larger in the amount of pixels that they have, I felt it best to start making my textures larger as well. I'm going to put this into soft light mode. It adds kind of a nice old antiquing effect to the wall. I'm going to now go here to the mask tool. And using a large brush, I'm going to just go ahead and paint out some of this texture over my subject.
And if you're not a texture person, you can simply stop at one of the previous steps, but I tend to enjoy textures. Just a little more, take a little bit off of that arm. Just mostly leaving it on the wall and hints of it back here in the background. And there's the finished edit. Perhaps I might choose to crop in a little bit. There you go. Thanks so much for watching this beautiful world demonstration. Bye-bye.